Dear students, today we will learn very important term which you will hear in your career when you are working on web applications that is client side and server side. So before going into detail of client side and server side, I want to remind you that we have written some code in HTML and that was rendered in a web browser to show your first page. So how actually it works at the backend. So basically you type a URL or you write the code. Web browser will contact the server that I need the latest web page whatever the user has demanded. And then the server will give the source code of that page. Not the page, it's source code. This means all of the tagged information will be given back by the server to the web browser. And then web browser will show it, will render it on the computer of user. So what if the page contain some animations or the page needs some feedback from the user that need to be stored again on the server or there is an animation which need to be displayed on the a client or user or terminal where the user is seeing. So such additional activities need to be performed. And if such activities are performed on the user's computer, then it is called client side. And if such activities are performed by servers or on the server, then these are called server side activities. So examples, for example, if you make a query on a search engine, you type the query on, for example, browser, you open a browser, you write google.com, and then you type, start typing some query. And that is being handled on your client side. However, as soon as you say search, so this query will be given to the server, will be transported to the server, and then server will decide that based on this query, which kind of pages should be given back to the user. So such activities will be done on the server. And once all of the required pages have been identified, those pages source code will be given back to the user to display it. Similarly, if you have read the emails, you might have used the emails in your life. So whenever you type in username, password. So such things are basically handled at the client side. But whenever you enter login, so that information goes to the server, which authenticates the user, whether it is a valid user or not. And then whatever the pages, you, uh, server identifies that are relevant and most relevant for the user, those are given back to the user to be displayed on the client side. So how we control client side activities? So there are different languages, there are different technologies which we will be briefly describing here. So first of all is a JavaScript that was developed by Netscape Communications Incorporation. So within an HTML you insert the code of JavaScript to handle the client side activities. Then transfer web pages to a browser and then transfer additional units called applets that uh, in the HTML and that was developed by Sun Microsystems. Then there is another technology known as Flash developed by Macromedia and that is basically client size, side presentations are managed and client side animations are managed by the uh, Flash. Then similarly, there are some other activities of server side. So there are different technologies and tools and different languages. For example, the early technology was called CGI, Common Gateway Interface, that to control the server side activities. And client could request servers for something, uh, uh, request the servers and servers displays back their required information using CGI. Then a variation of CGI was developed by Sun Microsystem and that is known as Servlet. And then those Servlets also work for 
Java Server Pages (JSP). So this is another technology or a specific example of servlets that can be used. And then a similar approach by Microsoft is known as Active Server Pages, which is ASP. And then the PHP was not designed for the server-side scripting previously. However, now PHP hypertext preprocessors are available to uh, control the activities as, at server side. However, if we want to execute something from client to the server or server want to execute some script to client, then we must not uh, forget about the ethical and security issues. So, for example, if server is sending anything to the client and client blindly execute that thing, then it becomes ethical issue for the server and security issue for the client. Similarly, if client want to execute some unethical thing on the server and server blindly executes it, then it may become ethical issue for the client and security issue for the server. So, to summarize today's module, we have learned about client side and server side activities and different examples were given and how are, what are the approaches to handle client side activities and what are approaches and technologies available to handle server side uh, activities and there are some security and ethical issues which we have discussed which should be focused while using client side or server side scripting.